I not only want to talk about the People's Convoy, I want to talk about two other convoys happening in America. All of them are absolutely hilarious. Now, the People's Convoy I haven't covered for a while, but before I get into this, let's take a moment to really appreciate this photo here. This is a phone that took a photo of a computer, and then someone took the photo of the computer taken by the phone and put it on the website. You gotta love their ingenuity. So, what is going on with the People's Convoy? They are having quite a bit of infighting. They've had injuries, they've had vehicles break down. They had someone end up in the hospital because they fell off, I believe it was the fire truck. They've had streamers threatening each other. They've made threats to locals, they've made threats to everyone. It's hilarious how quickly it's fallen apart, especially when it comes to the streamers that want their money. But also members of the convoy are angry because they can't do political events and be associated with the non-political convoy. A group wanted to go to a GOP convention. They were told not to. They've even been told to pull down their non-political flags. Of course, some don't do it. Now, the convoy here, let's go down below. It's where they're trying to get you to sign up for an affiliate program with a monthly fee to then sign people up under them for a tiered, like, earning system. It's hilarious. You'll see, if we go down far enough, I might have actually, here it is. Rally with Justice for Kids Convoy. Wow, you might be going, who are the Justice for Kids Convoy? They're spending six hours with these people. Apparently it's this group, from my understanding. They've raised $20 in 20 days. And what this convoy appears to be against is CPS. Yeah, they're saying it's child trafficking that CPS protects children not making it up go go read it you can screenshot it this is their it's right here on the internet now of course the convoy itself is being now covered by some major media as they head back to the dc the daily beast is talking about how they're wanting to become increasingly more violent and how they're very worried about eggs still but the convoy itself other than those failures i've mentioned earlier has just been traveling the american freedom convoy on the other hand oh this is a fun one they have a location. Please consider donating to help this get up and running. They've got a few hundred dollars donated. And I just want to point out that this leader here has even made a post about how it's unfair that Facebook is taking down 2,000 mules posts. So they believe that conspiracy too. But let's talk about the location. It is a lease, month-to-month -month lease, on a three-acre gravel lot. No power no water no sewer that's what they're doing and i believe she even made a comment where you know if the money doesn't come in and it doesn't really grow in a month they're just gonna have to end it <laughs> this is dc i don't know if they're gonna try to join back up with the people's convoy but i would love nothing more than the people's convoy to join up with them and just be on this gravel lot because I would find it hilarious.